So what is this special type of division? Polynomial division. It's lots of fun. Polynomial division is based off of the long division principle. Divide, multiply, subtract. Divide, multiply, subtract. But, but, there are letters involved, right? So you are actually dividing one polynomial by a next polynomial. If you have this scenario, let's say x plus one, and you want that to be divided into, let's say two x cubed minus x squared plus three x plus two. Let's say you want this. So this divided by that, this whole thing divided by that. How do you begin that? So you set up your famous long division looking thing. And we have two x cubed minus x squared plus three x plus two. All right, in this setting, the plus one, we don't attach any set of major significance to that. As I said, we focus in on this x. So x then going to two x cubed, two x squared times. If you're getting problems, so visualize that. Let's write two x cubed divided by x, and all of a sudden it might become pretty apparent to you that that's two x squared. That's what's going to be left out. Now, some people put the two x squared here. I would advise to always line up, right? Your next step is multiplication. So you're going to take this 2x squared and multiply by, and remember I said the division, you're not really thinking about this key out. But when it comes to the multiplication, that one is vital, vital to the whole sentence here. So this 2x squared is multiplying by both of them, like this. So it's like 2x squared being multiplied by the x plus 1. What are you going to get? You're going to get 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Notice how you get something to the power of 3 and then something to the power of 2. That usually happens. So 2x squared by x plus 1, 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Comfortable. Comfortable. We divide, we multiply, subtraction comes next. So always, once you're working correctly, once everything going good, you're supposed to be seen as 0 here. Yeah. And this is the juicy stuff. This is the stuff we're going to work with to repeat the cycle. Major hurdle for students is this subtraction sign right here. See that subtraction sign is interfere with whatever you have there, especially like if this was a negative one. So the, the big problem with this, it's after you understand the division, multiply, subtract, and you do a few, it's easy. But if you didn't do much, you would, in the exam, you're walking, thinking it easy and not getting marked because you mess up some sign or something that they had waiting for you. So look out for directed numbers taking place in this. So negative x squared minus 2x squared is actually negative 3x squared. X, remember what we study in the... When, we, when it's time to do the division, forget about the 1. Just think about the x. So x into negative 3x squared is how much? Once again, negative 3x squared over x. Negative 3x squared over x, 1x will cancel x squared x. So you're ending up with a, you see now, you see now negative three x here. Nice, nice, nice. And then you're seeing negative three x squared. Multiply by that. You see the pattern. So you end up back with a negative three x squared because you're supposed to get the same things when you minus it, it goes to zero. But negative three x also has to multiply by the one. So I'm going to get negative three x here. What do we do now, sir? Well, you're going to have to think like you're bringing down this to do your subtraction. Because we did the division, multiplication, now it's time to do the subtraction. Subtract, you get a zero here again. Notice how we had the zero here from before. You get the zero. And this subtraction is supposed to give you good things. If this cancel is off to give you a zero, don't frighten. Just bring down this two and see if this can go into it. If it cannot go into that, well then, um, that's the remainder. But right now, it's looking like it's going to cancel, but actually, it's a little trick. 3x subtract negative 3x is actually 6x. We're going to bring down this 2 plus 2. And x into that, I'm speeding it up now. You get plus 6. And then you say 6 by that is 6x um, plus 6. And you subtract, you end up with negative 4. So negative 4 is the remainder. So you have the answer is going to be running out of colors. The answer is going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus six, remainder four. So remember in primary school, when you're doing the long division, 
you just write the remainder when you're done remainder nine or whatever in this you can just write the remainder or sometimes you may see it like this four over x plus one what does that mean remember you put the new remainder over the divisor yeah you understand so like when you remain that nine, I would put nine over 12 as the remainder because I'm dividing my 12. The remainder goes over what you divided. So it's this plus that plus the remainder. That makes sense? Minus four? Yeah, minus four, sorry. All right, rate how much you understand polynomial division out of 10? 10 out of 10, nine, 10. All right, so let's give you all one to do. <laughs> 